So far, one person, a male in his late 20s, has been charged with murder. Police confirm the gunman was live streaming the killings at one mosque on social media. We'll talk about that more in a moment. Two other people are being held, but it is unclear to this hour whether they too are involved. Police say none of the people in custody are in any kind of extremist watch list. We had no information, no agency had any information about these people. And I can also tell you that I've been in contact with my Australian colleagues. They have no information uh, on them at all either. New Zealand police are not identifying the murder suspect for legal reasons. He hasn't yet appeared in court yet. That will come tomorrow morning, uh, local time, when he is to be formally charged with murder. But in an online post, the gunman calls himself Brenton Tarrant and says he is a 28-year-old citizen of Australia. Australian police and Australian media identifying him as well. Under his name online is a racist manifesto claiming that white Christians are under threat from other religions and races. He also cites mass shooters like Norwegian terrorist Anders Breivik and Canadian Alexandre Bissonnette, the Quebec City mosque attacker, now serving 40 years in jail for his actions two years ago. As we have been reporting, one of the most disturbing aspects to this attack is the fact that video exists of it, that the gunman stormed in uh, wearing a helmet with a camera on it, and it was live streamed on social media. Much of the video unspeakably horrifying, images that instill terror, fear, and outrage, but also offer insight that we at CBC News feel is uh, important context to our coverage this morning. The video also shows the gunman in his vehicle before the attack. So so what you're about to see is a screenshot from part of the recording. Take a look at the first time we are showing you this. This is the gunman showing his face to camera. As we have been reporting, the gunman calls himself Brenton Tarrant in his online post, 28 years old, and he calls himself an Australian citizen. Uh, the video, John Northcott, let's pick that up, the 17 minutes of it, uh, much of it aired by broadcasters, notably in Australia, even though police and various authorities had urged uh, platforms and media outlets not to do so. Take a look at this further into uh, that, John, for us this morning, if you would. Well, Heather, that, as you've said, was live streamed, and that video was uh, the final uh, transmission, if you will, from this individual who, uh, in the time leading up, in the planning of this, posted a number of elements online, elements that are now being reacted to uh, and around the world as uh, they are discovered, although having been taken down in some cases from social media. We can show you this photograph put out. This looks like it's on a piece of carpet there in the background. These are the magazines from an automatic rifle. The automatic, these are what you'd call a banana clip, uh, and here is a drum style clip. Both of them uh, able to uh, deliver a high uh, rate of fire and uh, both of them extremely, all of them extremely deadly. Listed on that, sort of painted on in white paint uh, are a number of uh, names and comments. Uh, these are uh, individuals uh, who have committed crimes against uh, mosques before. Uh, the Quebec City mosque shooter, Alexander Bissonnette, is one of the names on the rifle as well, as well as the magazines uh, that is being used. Uh, various uh, church shootings. Uh, uh, Anders Breivik, uh, who, of course, killed so many a number of years ago. Uh, the uh, other names along here go back in history. Those who, back to the uh, 16th and 18th and 19th century, who launched attacks and were in wars against, for example, Turkey, another uh, entity that he takes uh, 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 some sort of strange pleasure in uh, attacking uh, as this uh, goes forward. Uh, also, a manifesto published online uh, that goes on for over 70 pages, uh, dealing with what may have been his motivations. Assault on our civilization, nowhere left to go that was safe from mass immigration. He deals with saying that Donald Trump uh, is uh, someone that he admires for being a supporter of uh, the far right and uniting of uh, those who are inv involved in what he uh, effectively says is a race war. Much 
of it very typical of what you might find on a fascist or a neo-fascist or uh, right-wing website. Um, uh, hard to separate uh, what are the ravings of a madman and what are uh, the message track of uh, those who uh, espouse these beliefs. But again, that out there around the world making the rounds. Heather? John, it's interesting, uh, you know, he, in his manifesto, actually spoke directly about Donald Trump and indicated that uh, he doesn't like a lot of his policies, but is certainly uh, a fan of the populism and some of the anti-immigrant uh, support that put him into office. He likes that, the same kind of thinking that led to, in his view, the Brexit vote outcome. But we should probably point out that Donald Trump's response so far has not to acknowledge any sort of a mention of him in the manifesto, but very much to express his sympathy with the people of New Zealand. Motivations behind the attack, of course, this is one of the things that we will be thinking about and investigators will be looking at because, as we've said, this was not someone on any terror watch list. They did not understand or know about his sentiments. But what is the latest thinking in a little bit more detail? Uh, well, a number of things, not the least of which is one of the individuals who he also mentions, again, uh, with what degree of seriousness, uh, we don't know. Uh, but uh, this is uh, an individual who uh, is uh, from uh, the right in the United States. Uh, uh, she's African-American, uh, but he tweeted, or rather, she has just tweeted out, he commented on her uh, in the manifesto, uh, saying that she was an inspiration to him. She has responded sarcastically, a few events I've not been blamed for, Brazilian mining dam collapse, Chinese uh, air smog, Tenerife air crash, 1973. She's not taking this at all seriously. Uh, still, there's no sense of any concern or any uh, 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 sympathy for those who were killed in this attack. There are those who observe the uh, growth of terror around the world and say that this attack is only going to add fuel to both sides of that debate. Have a listen. The thing is this, is that the far right has often talked about a race war, about trying to create it. And this individual has tried to in initiate it. And what worries me is that this may be a far right attack, but terrorist groups like ISIS and Al Qaeda may try to exploit it also to try and show their potential followers, well, this is how the West treats Muslims. And it's very important that the social tensions do not increase, not only in New Zealand, but across the world. To that end, it's worth noting that uh, Facebook uh, quick to take down his uh, post, uh, issuing a statement here that in addition to moving quickly when police notify them of that live streaming video saying, we've also removed any praise or support for the crime and for the shooter or shooters as soon as we're aware. That coming from Facebook, YouTube, our hearts are broken over today's terrible tragedy in New Zealand. Please know we are working vigilant, vigilant, vigilantly rather to remove any violent footage. So that's the reaction from the sites that were initially uh, carrying the material that he was putting out there on all those uh, platforms. Um, also worth noting, though, that, of course, between uh, 4chan and 8chan and uh, all the dark web organizations that are out there, the videos and his comments are freely circulating. I'll just tell you that the Daily Stormer, which is a neo-Nazi website, have changed their landing page to feature a cartoon uh, of uh, the suspect in this case. Um, and also worth noting that throughout the Muslim world, uh, the video in its entirety uh, uh, was hours after it was removed from other uh, English language websites uh, throughout the Muslim world on Arabic websites. That video is still available. That going arguably to what uh, Mr. Goha was talking about there in terms of incensing the debate on both sides. Heather? 17 minutes of uh, carnage captured and broadcast. John, thank you. And uh, 